Olive muddle. When is Grandma getting here? You two are certainly excited to have Grandma babysit today. Maybe it has something to do with her promise to bring over something special to eat. Mmm, I wonder what it is. Grandma! Grandma! Grandma's here! Grandma's here! Now, don't worry. The kids will be just fine. You have a good time golfing. Bye-bye! Goodbye! Be good for Grandma. Okay. Have fun, kids. So, are you ready for some treats? Treats? Yes, please. I went to a special cooking class yesterday and learned all about olives. Did you know they're healthy and delicious? Caillou had never even heard of olives before. He wondered what they tasted like. I made some homemade Italian olive bread. Try some. Mmm, the olives look like chocolate chips. Yummy! Rosie really liked the bread, so Caillou thought he would like it too. Caillou didn't know what to do. He knew it wasn't polite to spit out his food. So, what do you think? Caillou didn't like the taste of olives, but he didn't know how to tell Grandma. It tastes, um, great. Oh, that's wonderful. I wasn't sure you'd like it, but now that you do, I have lots more olive treats in store for you. Yay! More? <laughs> Kids, snack time! I hope you like crackers with a special dipping sauce. Can't you just smell the... Olives. Olives! Caillou didn't want to eat the special dipping sauce, so he came up with a clever way to avoid it. I better go check on the oven. Here, Caillou, help yourself to some more. Caillou! Rosie! <laughs> so, uh, what are we having for dinner? Pizza! Yay! Caillou loved pizza, especially the way Grandma made it. Caillou could hardly wait. Olives? That's right. Your favorite and mine. Olives. <laughs> Rosie, too. Caillou didn't want to eat the pizza, but he couldn't think of a way to tell his grandma. Caillou? No, I, uh, just saw some dirt on the floor and decided to clean it. There, all gone. Whew. Clean plates. How wonderful. 
Since you both like olives so much, I'll have to make more olive treats in the future. And just wait till you try my special homemade dessert. Caillou didn't like the sound of that. He didn't want to think about what Grandma had in store for him next. Doesn't it look yummy? Eat up! Caillou couldn't stand to eat another olive. He realized he needed to tell Grandma how he felt about them. So, who's ready for some dessert? Ozzy, too! I don't like olives! <gasps> I'm sorry, but I don't like the taste. Why didn't you say something before, Caillou? I didn't know how to tell you. And you worked so hard to make us all those treats. Caillou was sure Grandma would be upset with him. <laughs> oh, Caillou, I'm glad you told me how you feel. Aren't you mad at me? No, everyone has different tastes. You don't like olives, and I don't like beets. To each his own. Besides, I think it's nice that you were worried about my feelings. Caillou was relieved, especially when Grandma revealed her special homemade dessert. Oatmeal cookies! Caillou was delighted. There wasn't a single olive in sight. So, did you have a fun day? Oh, we sure did! Rosie name? You want me to help you put your name on it? Okay. An olive slice? What's that doing in here? Oops. I guess I have some tidying up to do. That day, Caillou learned that he could be honest with Grandma, even when it came to her cooking. <laughs> Use clay play. One day, Daddy and Rosie decided to play with some modeling clay, and Rosie was taking charge. Big eyes, small tail, big ears. Okay. Space robots flying through space. Space robots looking for aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Would you boys like to make something out of clay, too? No, thanks. We're having fun playing space robots. We're looking for aliens. Okay, just take it easy, then. No problem. Space robots, turbo power! <coughs> okay, Rosie, here you go. Your very own clay poodle. Be careful, it's still soft. What's our next space robot mission, Caillou? Let's explore more planets. Leo and Caillou continued to play space robots upstairs when they almost had a cosmic crash. Rosie Pluto, careful! Oops, sorry, Rosie, but I think it's okay. You know that poodle looks pretty neat. Rosie Pluto, woof woof. <laughs> Now our poodle is a guard dog. <laughs> beep, beep. Aliens are in the area. We have to go. <laughs> oh? <laughs> Alien <What>? escape. Come <laughs> back. <laughs> 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 Let's pick up the space food. Wow. Look, alien headquarters. That space poodle needs rescuing. We must escape the aliens. Super turbo power. Unfortunately for Caillou, all of his space robot flying 
made him very dizzy. Whoa! <gasps> I've got it! Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> Uh-oh. Caillou was worried. He knew how upset Rosie would be if anything happened to her poodle. And that poodle was squash-a-doodled. Doggy! <gasps> That's right, Rosie. Oh, no! It's Rosie! Quick, hide it! Caillou and Leo tried their best to keep Rosie from entering the room. Rosie Poodle? Uh, uh, you can't come in, human. It is not safe. Aliens everywhere. Danger! Code Red, stay away! Rosie want Poodle! Who wants to go to the park? Me, me, me! Rosie, Rosie! We're gonna stay here with Mommy. Whew, that was close. But what are we gonna do? Rosie will be so upset if she finds out we broke her poodle. Caillou and Leo came up with a plan to solve their problem. Let's make another poodle, just like the one we broke. Yeah, maybe Rosie won't even notice. The boys got to work on making a new poodle dog for Rosie. What do you think? It doesn't look like a poodle. It looks like a half elephant, half poodle. It's an elephant poodle! <laughs> <laughs> the boy's creation seemed to get wackier and wackier. That's not a poodle. It's a hippopotam monkey. <laughs> And the boys giggling got louder and louder. <laughs> it's a lion noodle! <laughs> the boys tried one more time to make a poodle. Ta-da! It looks like a poodle. Um, well, sort of. It doesn't look anything like the one Daddy made with Rosie. Hi, Rosie. Mommy! How was the party? Oh, no! Rosie's back! Hurry! We need to get this poodle back in front of her dollhouse. If you space robots need to refuel, I made some space lemonade. Indeed! Some very interesting animals. Um... Hey there. Uh, is there something wrong, Caillou? Caillou felt bad about trying to trick Rosie with their poodle. He decided to do the right thing. We were having fun with our space robots, but we got a little carried away, and... and... and we squished Rosie's clay poodle. We tried to make a new one, but it's not very good. Caillou turned to Rosie, expecting her to be very upset. Aminos! Aminos! He was surprised to see she was so happy. I'm glad you boys admitted to your mistake. But Rosie found the other animals you made. And I think she loves them even more than the poodle. Aminos! <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, I like your aminos. They're very inventive. Thanks. Look, Rosie, this one's a hippopotamonkey. And this one's a lion noodle. <laughs> Caillou and Leo had learned an important lesson. It was much better to own up to their mistakes and tell the truth. neighbor, Mrs. Howard, was cleaning up her cellar. It wasn't an easy job. Hmm. The Lightning Ball Express. 
Oh, hello, Mrs. Howard. Come in. I hope you don't mind, but I brought over something special. I think Caillou's going to love it. Hello, Caillou. I have something to show you. The Lightning Ball Express. It's a perfect scale model of a coal-fired train, complete with caboose. Choo-choo! That's right, Rosie. A train. An electric train. It was my son's favorite toy when he was growing up. Why, I hadn't seen it in years. Wow, it's great! I know what. How would you like to borrow it for a while? Really? Yes, please, Mrs. Howard. Thank you. Caillou was very happy. He couldn't wait to try out Mrs. Howard's train. <laughs> All aboard! Choo -choo. For the rest of the day, Caillou sent Mrs. Howard's train traveling all over the house. <laughs> Uh-oh, there goes my train of thought. Does the conductor want a snack? time with Mrs. Howard's train. All aboard! Attention! The Caillou Express is pulling into Gilbert the Cat Station. <gasps> oh no! Mrs. Howard's train! What am I going to tell Mrs. Howard? Caillou was very upset. He had broken Mrs. Howard's train. He didn't know what to do. Caillou, is everything okay? I heard a noise. Everything's fine. I was just, uh, making up sounds for the train. Uh, cr smash, crunch, blam. <laughs> okay. Caillou wanted to make sure Mrs. Howard never found out about the broken train. He knew she'd be very upset. Hi, Caillou. What are you doing? Uh, I'm not doing anything. Well, then, I think you've spent enough time indoors. How about a trip to the park for some fresh air? Okay. Caillou was having so much fun on the swings, he forgot all about Mrs. Howard's broken train. Hello, Caillou! <gasps> that was a close one. Caillou didn't want Mrs. Howard to find him because he didn't want to explain what happened to her train. Hi, Caillou. I was hoping to run into you. Look what I found for the train set. A cattle car. Uh, thanks. Oh, that was odd. Yes, indeed. As Caillou and Mommy walked home, he worried they would run into Mrs. Howard. All right, Caillou. What's this all about? Why are you hiding? Hiding? I'm not hiding. Caillou! I found another piece to add to the train set. A water tower. Oh, well, isn't that nice, Caillou? Now, where did he go? That's the second time he's done that today. I wonder what's wrong. 
Is it something I said? Caillou, can you come out here, please? Mrs. Howard and I would like to speak with you. Oh, hi, Caillou. I hope you don't mind. Uh, Ducky and I are just having a little soak. <laughs> hi there, Caillou. Uh, I, I don't mean to pry, but is there something the matter? I broke your train, Mrs. Howard. Oh, the old Thunderball Express. Broken again. I'll let you in on a little secret, Caillou. My son broke this train hundreds of times. I became an expert on how to fix it because it got broken so often. So don't worry, Caillou. Accidents happen. <sighs> I'm so glad you're not upset with me. Me too, Caillou. But if anything like this ever happens again, you need to ask for help, rather than covering up your tracks. <laughs> I'll head on home and fix this up right away. All aboard! Caillou was glad he wasn't hiding from Mrs. Howard anymore, because Mrs. Howard was a fantastic train conductor. Woo-hoo! He's brightly striped, as you can see. He lives in a sea anemone. Can you guess what his name might be? I know. It's a clownfish. Right. How did you know? I saw one when Daddy and I went to the zoo. The zoo? Lucky you. Well, that's the end of Ocean Friends. Did you like it? Yes! Yeah! Yes! I did! Yeah. Yeah. yeah! yeah! Me too! Now, can you guess what time it is? Outside time! Right! So go and get ready. <laughs> Miss Martin, can I take that book home to show my daddy? Please? I'm sorry, but I don't usually lend out books from our class library. They sometimes get lost. I'll be careful. I'll bring it back tomorrow, I promise. Please, Miss Martin? Well, all right. Yay! Thanks, Miss Martin. Caillou knew he had to take good care of the book, so he decided to put it into his backpack right away. But on the way, Caillou got a little distracted. Hey, Caillou! No one's on the swings yet. Come and swing with me. Okay. Welcome to Shade Daddy, Monsieur and Mademoiselle. <laughs> and for tonight's feast, we are serving vegetable et poulet. Mwah! Mmm, good! So, tell us about school today, Caillou. It was fun. Miss Martin read us a book called Ocean Friends, and she even let me bring it home. She almost never lets anyone do that. That's great, honey. She must think you're very responsible. Yeah. What does responsible mean? <laughs> it means she trusts you to be careful. Oh, good. Well, I'd love to see that book. Would you like to read it with me after dinner? Okay. Why, thank you, Princess Butternut. I'd love some more tea. <laughs> Yummy! Daddy, my book's gone. It's not in my backpack. Your book? The one you borrowed? Well, don't panic. I'll help you find it. What was on the cover? An octopus. Octopus? 
Lucy Siakopus? You did? Where? Octopus! Oh, that's a bath toy. Not my book. Maybe we should ask Mommy about it. Mommy, did you take anything out of my school bag? I sure did. And I put it up on the fridge. You're getting to be quite an artist, Caillou. Oh, that's my artwork, not my book. Maybe it fell out of your backpack. Or maybe Gilbert took it. He likes fish. <laughs> Gilbert likes fish in his food bowl, not in a book. Oh, I'm sorry, Gilbert. We've looked everywhere. Well, I'm sure it'll turn up, eventually. But I'm supposed to bring it back tomorrow. Oh. Caillou felt terrible. He didn't want to disappoint Miss Martin. I promised I'd be careful with it. You know, part of being responsible is that if things do go wrong, you try to make it right. Make it right? How? Well, can you think of anything you could do for Miss Martin to try to make up for losing her book? Maybe. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Martin. Uh, Caillou has something to tell you. I'm sorry. I lost Ocean Friends. We looked all over the house, but we just couldn't find it. But I made you a new book. I know it's not the same, but it's all I could think of. Oh, look at this. What a nice thing to do. You must have worked very hard on it. Uh-huh. Well, I have good news for you. <gasps> Ocean Friends! How did you get it? I found it outside yesterday by the swings. By the swings? Oh. I think you forgot to put it into your backpack yesterday. I'm sorry. I thought I did. Huh. <sighs> I guess I'm not allowed to borrow the class books anymore. I wouldn't say that. In fact, after last night, I'm sure you'll be extra careful with it. You mean I can still take it home? <laughs> Yahoo! Thank you! I'll bring it back tomorrow. I double promise. I know you will. And until you do, I know just the place for this one. There. How does it feel to have your book in our class library? Great! But, um, will other kids be able to take it home? Only if it's all right with you. What do you think? Okay, but they have to be really, really responsible. And from that day on, Caillou was very responsible with the class library books. was over for the day, and Caillou was very excited because his best friend Leo was coming over to spend the night. We can play tag and hide and seek. Oh, and I have a brand new soccer ball we can play with. Miss Martin, what's in the box? Oh! Do you know what this is? A guy made of bones. We're all made of bones, Leo. You just can't see them because they're underneath our skin. That's called a skeleton. That's right, Caillou. He's a skeleton, and his name is Mr. Bones. Nice to meet you. <laughs> He's going to help us learn all about bones tomorrow. But now it's time to go home. Come on, Leo. 
coming! Hooray! <laughs> I don't know why he's so slow. Hurry up, Leo! What's wrong? Nothing. Let's go. Caillou could tell that something was bothering his friend. He just didn't know what it was. Want to play soccer? Leo, what's wrong? Tell me. <gasps> Mr. Bones! What happened? Shh. Let's go to your room. Whoa. I was trying to make him walk, and his foot broke off, and then his leg broke off, and then he fell off the desk, and everything broke off. Was Miss Martin mad? She didn't see, and I didn't tell her. Whoa. What are you going to do? I don't know. We could try to fix him. Mommy and Daddy could help. No, don't tell them. Let's fix it ourselves. Promise you won't tell? Okay, I promise. We're gonna need some glue. Hi, Caillou. <gasps> Are you and Leo making something? Need some help? Um, no, we don't need any help. Caillou and Leo worked very hard fixing Mr. Bones. Done! He doesn't look so good. No, he's fine. Mm. The glue isn't sticking, and we've got pieces left over. What are we going to do? Ugh. Boys, supper's almost ready. Can I come in? Can I ask Daddy to help us? <sighs> okay. What have you got there? It's for school. Mr. Bones got broken, and we're trying to fix him. Can you help us? We'll have supper, and then I'm pretty sure we can put old Mr. Bones back together. First, we're going to give Mr. Bones a bath. Why? To get the glue off. We don't need glue because the parts snap together. See? Oh! oh. We'll start at the top, and you boys can do the rest. We already tried. We got him all mixed up. You just have to look at yourselves to know what piece goes where. The head's on top. Right. What's next? His neck. It's all I could think of last time. The neck is the top part of this. This is his backbone. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a leg. Your head bone's connected to your backbone. Your backbone's connected to your hip bone. Backbone? Hips. <laughs> and that's how we fix Mr. Bones. I think old Mr. Bones looks as good as new. You two did a great job. And now we know where all our parts go. <laughs> <laughs> You'd really be that wobbly if you didn't have any bones. The next morning, Leo and Caillou carried Mr. Bones to school. Very, very carefully. Now all we have to do is sneak him back onto Miss Martin's desk, and she'll never know I broke him. I bet she noticed he was gone. What if she asks where he was? I don't want to lie to Miss Martin. Yeah, me neither. I think you should tell her what happened. I don't think she'll be mad. I hope not. Okay, I'll tell her. Um, Miss Martin? Yesterday I broke Mr. Bones all in pieces. But I took him back to Caillou's house and we fixed him again. I'm really, really sorry. 
I'm so glad you told me, Leo. Thank you. But the next time you have a problem, you can come to me and I'll help you solve it, okay? Okay. You two did a marvelous job putting him back together. But when Mr. Bones was in pieces, he wasn't really broken. He's supposed to come apart. He's like a jigsaw puzzle. You take him apart and put him back together. That's how we can learn about the parts of the body. He's supposed to come apart? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to help me show the other children how he fits together? Yeah! With a little help from Caillou and Mr. Bones, Leo had learned how to admit to his mistakes. <gasps> oh no! We're trapped in an alien spaceship! Look! There's a way out! The Milky Way chute! Let's get out of here! Ready, set, go! Woohoo! We did it! We escaped the aliens! Caillou loved playing space adventure with his friend Leo. Some of Caillou's other friends were having a different kind of fun. <laughs> Hi, Jeffrey. Hi, Jason. What's so funny? It must be really good since you're laughing so hard. What is it? <laughs> Silly names! <laughs> Silly names? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clementine, come here. Clementine, you're a goofy, swoofy head. I'm a what? A goofy swoopy head! <laughs> the twins didn't notice that Clementine wasn't laughing along, but Caillou did. She was upset. Why are you calling me that? Because <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Children, time for class. It is not funny. I think it's funny. <laughs> I am not a goofy, swoofy head. I know. I never called you that. Why didn't you do something? You're supposed to be my friend. I don't know. I guess I didn't know what to do. Well, I know what to do. I'm going to ignore the twins. Caillou thought that sounded like a pretty good idea. Okay, if they call you a goofy swoofy head again, I'll ignore them too. <laughs> this is going to be the tallest tower ever. Cool, can I help? Sure. Wow, look at that. Oh. <laughs> Xavier's a bumble swumble head. Bumble swumble head, bumble swumble head. <laughs> Caillou could see that Xavier was upset, but the twins were once again too busy laughing to notice. <laughs> Come on, Xavier, let's do something else. Caillou thought if he ignored the twins, maybe they would stop. Twins didn't stop. <laughs> You're all inky. Yeah. Inky Emma. <laughs> inky Emma. Simon says, stand on one foot. Bend over and touch your toes. <laughs> Mara, bend too soon. Mara, bend too soon. Mara, bend too soon. <laughs> what do you have today, Caillou? Mmm, my favorite. Chicken noodle soup. <laughs> Caudles has noodles. <laughs> yeah. Caudles noodles. Caudles noodles. <laughs> it 
was home time, and Mommy and Rosie were waiting for Caillou. Toodles, Caillou-doodles! Caillou didn't stop to say goodbye to the twins. He was too annoyed by all their name-calling. What's wrong? Tucked in too tight? No. Daddy, what would you do if you didn't like something your friends were doing? Well, it depends. If they really were my friends, I'd probably talk to them about it. You see, friends talk about things. Sometimes it's good to speak up and tell people how you feel. Thanks. <sighs> Daddy, I'm glad we talked about it. The next day, Caillou and Leo were once again playing space adventure. Space Officer Leo, are you ready for takeoff? Can we play? Sure! Hop in the spaceship! Okay. Thanks. Are you ready? Three, two, one, blast off into space! Vroom! Let's do a loop-de-loop. -loop. A loop-de-loop? -loop? <laughs> okay, loop-de-loop -loop Leo. Loop-de-loop Leo, loop-de-loop Leo. Loop-de-loop Leo, loop-de-loop Leo. Loop -loop Leo. Loop -loop Leo. I don't like that name. Caillou had finally had enough of the silly name-calling. He decided to do something about it. I don't like it either. Your silly game is, well, silly, and it hurts people's feelings. Really? I, I didn't mean anything by it. Me neither. We just think it's funny. When something is funny, everyone laughs. Leo isn't laughing. Or Emma. Or Clementine. Or Xavier. Or Mara. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. Um, we're sorry. Right, Jeffrey? We won't do it anymore. But we could still call each other names. That's okay, right? Sure, I guess so. <laughs> Yay! Come on, Jumpy Swampy Jeffrey. Let's go on the swings. <laughs> Ready to go back into space, Loop de Loop Leo? You got it, Cayudos. <laughs> Caillou realized that silly names can sometimes be fun between friends. He also realized how good it felt to speak up. Caillou Shadow. I'm a giraffe. I'm a dinosaur. Rawr! <laughs> Let's see if you can be a galloping horse. We're going to be late for school if we don't hurry up. It's a good day for shadows, isn't it, Caillou? Yes, that's because there aren't any clouds. When clouds cover up the sun, there aren't any shadows. My goodness, you know a lot about shadows. Caillou was very excited when Miss Martin said they could make more shadows inside. <gasps> oh! We can pretend that this flashlight is our sun. Who wants to make shadows? <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Look! What happens when a cloud comes along? Caillou? The cloud blocks the sun's light so there's no shadow. That's right, Caillou. You know a lot about shadows. You must be a scientist. Scientists are people who study and learn about the world around us. 
Caillou was very proud to be a scientist. Do you want to play dinosaur shadows when we go outside at lunchtime? Yeah. But at lunchtime, <laughs> Caillou had a big surprise. Rawr! Oh. Where'd our shadows go, Caillou? Caillou thought he knew everything about shadows, but he didn't know the answer to that. Race you to the slide! He did have a shadow, but it was only teeny tiny. Caillou was very disappointed. Caillou, what's the matter? Caillou liked being a scientist. He didn't want to admit he didn't know why his shadow had disappeared. But he also really, really wanted to know why it had disappeared. Miss Martin, why is my shadow gone? That's a very good question, Caillou. Let's talk about it inside. Caillou has a question. Can you repeat it for everyone, please? Don't be shy. Scientists ask questions like this all the time. They do? Oh, yes. Even scientists can learn more about things. And the way to learn more is to be curious and ask questions. Why didn't I have a shadow when I went outside at lunchtime? Let's all be scientists and try to solve this problem. First, what do we know about shadows? Shadows are made when something is in front of a light. Right. And when we're outside, that bright light is... The sun! Exactly. Now, is the sun always in the same place in the sky? When I get up early, I can see the sun rising. It comes up behind the house across the street. And at night, it goes down again. Now we're thinking like scientists. So, the sun can be seen in different places in the sky. When the sun moves, the shadows move too. Yes. Where was the sun when we went outside at lunchtime, Caillou? Caillou thought very hard and suddenly remembered. I remember. It was straight up above my head. Right. Now let's create the same situation in our lab. Lab? <laughs> That's what we call our room when we're being scientists. It's short for laboratory. This is sunrise. That's what your shadow looked like this morning, right, Caillou? Yeah! Now let's put the sun where it was at lunchtime. The shadow is gone! Now, Caillou, what do you think will happen next? Hmm, let's see. Here's the sun at lunchtime, and then the sun goes down at sunset. That means the shadows are going to come back later. You've just done what scientists do, Caillou. You asked a question, looked at the facts, and made a guess about what will happen. Later, we'll go outside to see if Caillou's guess is right. Caillou was very excited to be a scientist, but he was a little nervous about his guess. Would he be right or wrong? In a pocket full of posies, Asha, Asha, we all fall down! Whoa! <laughs> well done! Now, who would like to go outside to see if Caillou is right and our shadows are back? Yeah! <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> oh no! Woohoo! Yeah! Yeah! Hmm. There you are. You are a very good scientist, Caillou. Do you know why? Because I was right. <laughs> and why else? Because I ask questions! Exactly! Miss Martin, I've got another question. Yes, Caillou? 
Can we play Shadow Tag? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'll get you, Leo. <laughs> Catch me if you can. Caillou learned how important it was and how much fun it could be to ask questions. Hi, Flyers. Caillou was excited. His older friend Daniel was coming over for the weekend while his parents were away. When is Daniel coming, Mommy? I'm sure he'll be here soon, Caillou. Are you excited? Yeah, Daniel's fun. He knows how to skateboard, and he can whistle, and he knows all about dinosaurs. Daniel knows a lot of things, doesn't he? Daniel knows everything. <laughs> everything? Really? He's here! Hi, Daniel! Hey, Caillou! How's it going? <laughs> Come on, let's play! Stegosaurus is the best dinosaur. It's got armor and spikes! Nah, Tyrannosaurus Rex is the best. The T-Rex is the king of the dinosaurs. Grrr! Caillou thought Daniel knew everything about dinosaurs. He figured he must be right. Yeah, Tyrannosaurus Rex is the best. Stegosauruses are silly. Actually, I'm not so into dinosaurs anymore. Check this out. An airplane? Yeah, airplanes are so cool. Caillou wanted to be just like Daniel, so he agreed with him. Yeah, airplanes are cool. They're my, uh, favorite. Awesome. What planes have you got? Uh, I don't know. Caillou looked, but the only plane he had was a model Grandpa had given him. And it wasn't put together yet. I don't have any. Sorry, Daniel. That's okay. I'll make one. Caillou watched in amazement as Daniel quickly folded up the paper. An airplane! Yep. Watch this. <gasps> wow! <coughs> wow! Can I make one? Sure. It's easy. You just fold your paper like this. And then on the other side. Yep. Here, look. See? All ready for takeoff? Ready! Three, Three two, two, one! one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Your plane flew way better than mine. Hey, that was pretty good for your first time. I'm thirsty. Is it okay if we get a drink? Sure. Hang on. Caillou was thirsty, too. But the paper aeroplanes had given him a fun idea. Whoa! <laughs> What's this? I see. <laughs> it's a secret message. I'm guessing somebody is thirsty. We are, Mommy. Can we have a drink? Mommy, did you see my plane fly? Daniel's planes fly even better. They're awesome. My dad taught me how to make them. Caillou, have you shown Daniel the model plane Grandpa gave you? No, it's not put together yet. It's not? Then we should build it. Yeah, I'll go get it! Have fun. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. This is gonna be cool. Yeah. <gasps> it looks hard to make. Nah, it's easy. We don't 
don't need any instructions. See? Caillou wasn't as confident as Daniel. But the picture helped him figure out how the parts should go together. Caillou felt proud. He had put two pieces of the airplane's tail together. Look, Daniel! Awesome, Caillou! Look, our plane's all done and ready to fly. Caillou thought the plane didn't look quite right. Daniel, our plane doesn't look like the one in the picture. What are you talking about? It's perfect. Now let's get flying. Caillou still wasn't sure, but he thought Daniel knew everything. So he must have been right about the plane. Pilot to co-pilot, ready for takeoff? Ready! Then let's go! Yay! <gasps> oh man! There must be something wrong with the plane. Rotten luck. Oh well. Come on, Caillou. We may as well go back inside. Caillou was sure the wings on the plane didn't look right. He decided he would fix them. Daniel, maybe the wings were on backwards. Maybe you're right, Caillou. I guess it's worth a try. Caillou, you fixed it. I guess I should have paid attention to the instructions. You sure know a lot of stuff. Thanks. Pilot to co-pilot, prepare for takeoff. Caillou was very proud. He realized even someone his age could teach an older friend a thing or two. That was a lot of work. Caillou's daddy had spent the whole afternoon raking leaves in their yard. Wow! Look at all those leaves! That's right. Every autumn it's the same thing. All the trees drop their leaves, and it's my job to clean them up. Wait till I'm a daddy and I get to do all the fun jobs. <laughs> well, if you think raking the leaves is fun, I know another fall activity you'll really love. Jump right into the middle of the pile. <laughs> Again! was having a wonderful time. He never knew that jumping into leaves could be so much fun. Again! Wow, we've been jumping for a long time, Caillou. I think we'd better call it a day. It'll be dinner time soon. Caillou was disappointed. He didn't want his leaf jumping fun to end. Oh, can I keep jumping, Daddy? I'm having fun. Sorry to be a spoil sport, Caillou, but it's time to tidy up. Come back here. <laughs> hmm, this could be a problem. How about some help, Caillou? Okay. All done. You see, Caillou, there's always a way to figure out a problem. You just have to use your imagination. Or your fingers. <laughs> Daddy! Let's go inside. But, Daddy, when will I get to jump in the leaves again? Oh, 
Probably not till next fall, but maybe you can find something else to jump on. Caillou thought that sounded like a good idea, but he wondered what could possibly be as much fun as jumping on a pile of leaves. Uh, Caillou, what are you doing? I was going to jump on the cushions. On the cushions? Oh, I don't know if I like that idea. But, Mommy, I was just pretending it was a leaf pile. Oh, I see. Well, perhaps you can find a leaf pile somewhere else. <sighs> okay, Mommy. Mommy had said it wasn't a good idea to jump on the couch, but she never said anything about Caillou's bed. Caillou, what are you doing? I'm, um, trying to find something else to jump on. Caillou, jumping is fun, I know, but your bed isn't the right something else to jump on. I think it's better for sleeping in, don't you? There's still a little time before dinner. Why don't you see if Rosie will let you jump on her beanbag? That's always fun. Yeah, Rosie's beanbag! Caillou thought he had found the perfect thing to jump on. Caillou! Story time! Sorry, Rosie. I don't want to look at stories. I want to jump! Can you get up so I can use your beanbag? Story time! I have a great idea. Let's share it. Ugh, squeeze over, Rosie. Caillou and Rosie tried to share the beanbag chair, but there just wasn't enough room for both of them. No room, no room. Ugh. Oh, I can't jump anywhere. Bye, Caillou. Caillou was feeling a little frustrated. He couldn't think of any place where he could jump and have fun, other than the leaf pile. <gasps> Gilbert's bed. Oh! Gilbert! I was just going to jump there! <sighs> you see, Caillou, there's always a way to solve a problem. You just have to use your imagination. Or your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy! That's it! Daddy grabbed up all the leaves with his fingers. My pillow! <laughs> yeah, that's fun! Caillou wondered what else he could add to the pile. Daddy had been right. There was always a way to figure out a problem. <sighs> this is going to be the bounciest pile ever! Bouncy Caillou! Wow, looks like you're having fun. Yeah, I made my own leaf pile! I guess you won't have to wait till fall now. And I'm sure you'll clean up your room when you're done, right? <laughs> yes, I'll make sure I rake it all up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate to be a spoil sport, but dinner's almost ready. I hope you've bounced up a good appetite. I'll be down in a minute. Caillou was so happy. He had made a wonderful new leaf pile to jump on. And he even had some company. Rosie jumped too? And that's how Caillou realized he could solve a problem with a little imagination. 